Ladies and gentlemen, today I take you on a journey encapsulated within the walls of history, a museum of peace in Madurai. Dedicated to the legacy of a man named Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, affectionately known as Bap. We went to the abode of peace, the Mahatma Gandhi Museum. Here, amidst artifacts and photographs and clothes and specs, we saw a replica of Gandhi's tomb, a solemn reminder of the man who led India's struggle against the British. Gandhi, a name synonymous with non-violent resistance, embarked on a remarkable journey of passive resistance and fasting, compelling the British to relinquish their control over North India. His dedication and moral fortitude inspired countless others, marking him as one of India's most revered freedom fighters. It is said metaphorically that Gandhi's steadfast commitment lasted more than over a century, resolving and demonstrating his resolve even within prison walls until India gained independence in 1947. He also used various movements like the Salt March and the Quit India Movement. He was a main inspiration of many people including me. But there was one person that got inspired the most. You know who? Jawaharlal Nehru. He saved South India from the same British. How did he do that? Well, Jawaharlal Nehru being inspired by Mahatma Gandhi, he negotiated with the British to relinquish their control over South India and they did. Jawaharlal Nehru was also a member of Indian National Congress and the first Prime Minister of Independent India. After learning about this and feeling flabbergasted, flabbergasted about all of this, I went to my hotel room, I slept on my hotel bed and I thought about these great fighters and the museum. Thank you for allowing me to tell this journey and a tale of a museum that together tell a fuller story of a shared country's history.